And I welcome you back to the DeBrennick Channel. Today we are talking about the hurricane that's getting ready to hit. It's going to have an impact on the lower Colorado River system all the way from Lake Mead all the way down to Lake Mojave, Lake Havasu. And we have an update for you today. We are going to start off at windy.com. You can see that the European model is calling for an extreme amount of precipitation through Los Angeles all the way up through Nevada up to Road Mountain up here. You are going to get anywhere between five to six inches of precipitation. You got Bishop over here that's going to get 2.58. Yosemite Valley is going to get 1.3 inches. Las Vegas is going to get in on the action 1.2 and this is within the next three days so it's pretty accurate. You got down here by Lake Mojave we're going to have to watch because it is pretty high and you have a ton of precipitation coming 1.85 inches. They should just shut off the gates up at Lake Mead and let the water collect because they need tons of it. Now remember all the water from Las Vegas goes to Lake Mead. So we have that going on. So that's good news. And this up here will go to Lake Mead as well. And this over here will as well. So we have a lot of precipitation coming. So this is going to put an influx. Once you get past that mountain range right through here, all this precipitation goes to a different system that really just doesn't go anywhere. So it's kind of weird how just this is all surrounded by mountains. So this just kind of stays within itself. So this is dangerous for Nevada and in general if you're up in Nevada up here by Austin you got 2.3 and St. George over here you're not going to get near as much so we have to be mindful of that and we go out to the GFS and see that it's calling for a little bit more extreme precipitation now you have to remember a European model always exaggerates as always up here so we have that going on so we will be watching this they are calling for almost closer to two inches in Vegas so that is a lot of rain especially down on Fremont Street. None of those places are used to rain and they've had problems in the past and they will have problems in the future. So we have to be mindful of that. There's going to be a ton of precipitation coming though and it's good news for Lake Mead. They definitely can use it. Too bad it doesn't go a little bit further to the east. My friends down at Lake Havasu down here, you're talking about 8.7. We go over to my friends over in Bakersfield, 2.14. That's a lot of precipitation for you. So be mindful of that and be careful for that. We got Santa Clara down here, 2.2, and Los Angeles is going to get 1.67. San Bernardino is going to get 2.29. We got Palm Desert over here, 3.61, and then Palm Springs, 3.65. You got Desert Hot Springs, 3.68. That is more precipitation than you normally get. They definitely can use some precipitation over here, some precipitation over needles, and we got 1.8 coming to needles. And you can see as it gets over here, close Closer to Phoenix. Phoenix is only going to get a little bit of this precipitation, 0.38. The majority of it's going to be right along here. Too bad it isn't a little bit further to the east. I wish it was, but I have no control over the weather. We definitely could use that for sure. And Mexico is going to get in on the action as well. So we'll be watching this to see what happens, see what happens to the lake levels and see how much they come up. Lake Mead has already come up, and we go out to the grass. We are going to start off at Lake Powell and see what they're sending down to Lake Mead first to see how much inflows are coming in, and then we will go down to Lake Mead after that. As we roll out to Lake Powell, you can see that the current water level is 3,576.76. 2021, the level was 3,533.55. In 2021, it was much higher at 3,550. 50.70 so we are above that by by 26 plus feet and we continue to roll on here we go out lake powell's water level is currently 3576.76 feet msl saturday august 19 2023 at 1 p.m the level is 123.24 feet below full pool of 3700 changes since yesterday the level is down 0.14 feet in the last 24 hours lake powell is down 2.79 feet in the last 14 days and Lake Powell is up 43.21 feet in the last 365 days and we go out to your outflows and your inflows your inflows are currently 4,370 you can see it really has slowed down and your outflows are 13,985 so they're still releasing a whole bunch with this precipitation coming to Lake Mead this is good news bad news for Lake Powell they should slow that down in my opinion while they're getting 
precipitation to allow water to come in, but I think they do what they need to do. A lot of that is depending on power and whatnot. You probably, speaking of power, you probably will have power outages somewhere along the way, and we continue to roll down to Lake Mead next. As we roll out to Lake Mead, your current water level is 1,063.35 feet. In 2000. 22, the level was 1,042.58 feet. In 2023, the level was 1,067.60 feet. The water level is currently 1,063.35 feet. MSL, Saturday, August 19, 2023, at 1 p.m., the level is 165 feet below full pool of 1,229. And changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.1 feet in the last 24 hours. Changes in the last 14 days, the lake Meet is up 1.73 feet in the last 14, and in 365 days over the last year, the Lake Mead is up 20.77 feet, and that's going to rise even higher with the precipitation that is coming. Your inflows are 15,794, and I expect that to rise even higher. Now, you got to remember 13,000 and change is coming from Lake Powell, so you have that going, and they're still releasing quite a bit. I think they need to slow that down with all the precipitation further south. They need to slow that down for to help Lake Havasu and Lake Mojave as well. So you have 11,635 going out, but they still got to generate power. So they, they got to do what they got to do. So I understand that. And we go down to Lake Mojave next. Lake Mojave's current water level is 642. In 2022, the level was 643.55. In 2021, the level was 643.92. The water level is currently 642.26 feet MSL Saturday, August 19, 2023 at 12 p.m. The level is 4.74 4.74 feet below full pool of 647 and that's what I'm talking about. You're only 4.74 feet from the top and you have a lot more precipitation headed towards Lake Mojave and Lake Havasu and this is not a good situation for those because those levels are way high currently so we have to watch that. Lake Mojave is down 0.2 33 feet in the last 24 hours. Lake Mojave is down 0.42 feet in the last 14 days. And we go to your outflows and your inflows. Your inflows are currently 8,278 and I expect those to rise rapidly soon. And then your outflows are 11,041 as the precipitation comes. We go to Lake Havasu next. Lake Havasu's current water level is 449.50 feet. You can see it's on the rise right here. And then we go to last year was 449.03. In 2021, the level was 449.50 feet. And we continue to roll out. Lake Havasu is currently 449.50 feet. Saturday, August 19th, 2023 at 1. The level is 0.5 feet below full pool of 450. So we have to be very mindful of that. You are only a half a foot away from going over the top. There may be some big time flooding up there if this precipitation does come to pass and it comes in that way. We'll have to be watching this very carefully to see which way everything shifts, but this is not looking good, y'all. And we go to the last 24 hours and you can see Lake Havasu is up 0.80 inches in the last 24 hours. Lake Havasu is up 1.34 feet in the last 14 days and over the last 365 days, Lake Havasu is up 0.47 feet, and then we continue to roll out to your inflows and your outflows next. Your inflows are currently 9,554 CFS, and your outflows are 3,096, and that is all I have for today, you guys. I will be praying for you. I hope everything works out. I hope they can get through this storm and everything will be fine and we will be back. I'm not too worried about Lake Mead, but I am really concerned about Lake Havasu and Lake Mojave more than anything. So be safe and God bless. We'll see you on the next one.